Hello, this is Charlie Zorro. Did you know that there's a hidden rabbit burrow just outside of Standgard in the Great River? Well, until recently, I didn't. But Kennedy L recently found it, and she's going to show you how to find it today. So, we're in Standgard. Let me show you where that is. Okay, this is the Great River. And this is Lothlorien. And this is Standgard. So we're at the Stable Master. So we're gonna... She has a war steed, but you can ride whatever horse you might happen to have. Isn't her war steed beautiful? Anyway, you want to go out the north gate. And the first place she's going to take you is... I consider it a false lead. Basically, outside of an orc encampment. Well, we'll wait. I'll show you. You want to just follow this around. And very shortly, we'll be running into a Rohirrim outpost. That's your landmark. Here we are. And we just want to go ahead and go right through. And continue on. Now see that valley up to the right? That's where we're going to head. Now luckily she's high enough level that none of these orcs and goblins are going to bother her. But if you're coming through here on level, you may want to be a little careful. There's the orc encampment off to our left. And you want to continue until you hit the dead end up here. Now there doesn't seem like there'd be anything around here. But there is. If we continue on and go around these rocks, the designers have thrown us a bone. Here's a bear rug with a little rabbit sitting on the head. Now, you can't click on the rabbit. I mean, it's, it's, it's just there for you to look at. And you'd think, okay, there's a rabbit all by himself kind of in a weird place. Somewhere along here has got to be that secret rabbit hole. Well, sorry to tell you guys, it's not. What you want to do Hop back on your horse and head south. The secret burrow is actually just a little south of a northern or another orc encampment. And that's why I consider this one to be a false lead. I'm going to back her up a little bit, keep on going. We're going to go back out to the same road we were just on. Only we're going to continue around the hill. Now, hang a left. Don't go straight. Otherwise, you'll go down into the Limelight Garge, and there's all sorts of big, high-level, ferocious creatures down there that would just love to pounce on you. Okay, when you, when you reach this crossroad, if you look down, there's the Orc Encampment. And as we get closer, you'll see that there's a trail that kind of leads down and that's what you want to take. So you're basically going to go between these two. Now you can... Let me back up a second. You can actually 
jump down here if you want to. The secret rabbit burrow is on the other side of the river and you can swim downstream from here. Or you can jump off the cliff a little bit higher up and it'll save you a lot of swimming. And it's not that deadly. So we'll go ahead and dismount. And you want to jump up on the rocks. And at the lowest level here, you want to dive into the water. And let's get our bearing. You want to go southwest where you see the trees. The fog kind of looks weird, but that's kind of a neat effect. So as you can tell, this isn't somewhere that you're just going to casually walk past. Okay. In between these rocks, you'll see the entrance to the cave. And here we go. We're in the hidden burrow. And I'm going to do... And Alt 10 to turn on my light or my lantern. That way we can see all the little bunnies. Hello, little bunnies. Aren't they cute? And they're just all over the place. All different colors. There's a little brown and white one. My lore masters will love it when they get this far. Can we just we can go up the side and there's even more little bunnies. I just love the one with the pink nose. Really love to have one of these as my familiar. Or my pet bunny. Let's see if I can get a close up of him. There he is. And his little friends. And if you keep going up, try not to step on any of the little bunnies. Here's Mama Bunny, all tuckered out. And that's pretty much it. I mean, there's no treasure or anything at you know to acquire up here it's just finding the little bunnies hiding under the mushrooms and kind of looking at their cave and thanking the dev who decided that this was a swell idea and added it to the game So, let me show you how to get back. Whoops. That's kind of weird. Let's not go off that way. Look out, little bunny. Oh, and this is a dead end. In case you were wondering. And let's see there we go so it's kind of a fun little diversion if you're you know if you're ever in the southern part of uh, of the Great River around Stangard okay to get back you're not going to be able to climb back up the way you came and I have not gone down the river to find out how far you have to swim instead I go up river
and you want to swim through the fog. Now, let's see. Hang on a second. Let's see if Hunter Speed will make... Yeah, Hunter Speed makes her swim a little bit faster. So, Hunters are going to have an advantage. And it may seem like it's kind of boring, but if your monitor gives you high enough for a resolution, the rocks and such at the bottom of the river are really cool. I mean, they look so realistic. You have to keep going. Now you'll see a mining colony, kind of a mining area in the back. And when you get close to that, you can just walk right out. And this is the area, this is what I was saying where you could come if you don't want to jump off the cliff. And now you're back where the goblins are, or the orcs. So, that's how to find the little bunnies. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I hope you found this enjoyable. I certainly enjoyed it when I first found it. So, if you like it, please give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, safe journeys and take care.